Hey y'all, welcome back to the homestead. It is a cold, dreary day outside, so we're gonna be working inside on our big family closet. So today we're gonna be hanging some heavy duty wall shelves all the way around here. Can't quite go all the way though because the wall up here is not finished. But first of all, we gotta clear out a lot of this stuff that's in here. We're not pulling the drawers out, but everything else we gotta pull out so we can work. So here's the shelves we're going to be using and also something really cool about them is they have a built-in hanging rod. Alrighty, you ready to start clearing this out, Nate? Yep. Alrighty, we got one last thing to clear out. Did you come to see what we've done? Yeah. Does it look nice in there? Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, quick interruption here. It seems like whenever you're doing a project, there's always something else that's kind of related to a secondary project that has to be done first. And we just realized that we have a vent in this closet that's not complete and if we put the shelf up it's going to be hard to access the vent so the vent has to be done first the reason we have a vent in this closet is because in the summertime it gets really humid in here and we need to have a place for the air to go so our clothing doesn't get all mildewy so Nadie's up there and he's gonna tell you what he's doing all right i'm gonna pop off this vent here so that I can cut the other side out. Because right now the other side has not been cut out yet so there's not really much of a way for the vent to work. <laughs> and then we're gonna put another vent on the opposite side of the wall and then hopefully this whole closet will ventilate a little bit better in the summertime. Alrighty, there we go. A little rough, but it'll work. Alright, back to the shelving. So we're gonna put these on the wall and the racks will set on. Alright, so we'll just put a mark up here at six feet because that's gonna be how high the racks are. We are going to have to stagger the racks a little bit though because they're a little bit too long. So that means some are going to have to be a little lower and some are going to have to be a little higher. Look how big these screws are. Got the first bracket up. So Nate, what's that little thing for? This little thing just goes down right over here. You push it down, and then it holds the shelf in place good. 
50. Yay, second rack on. So how these clothes hanger rods work is there's just a little bolt right here that actually screws into the rod itself and holds it in place. So right now we're working on getting this shelf on. We were going to put this shelf on first, but we realized it would be easier to get this shelf evenly in between these two if we put this one on first, but that comes with its own series of challenges. Because before we had this shelf on, so it was really easy to tell where this shelf needs to be. But we can't do that on this side because the wall's not finished. So now we're trying to figure out where it needs to be. Which is that we do have a little bit of a slight issue here. We actually need to redo this. We need to redo these holes. Why? Because it's actually got tilted. Like, see how much that's tilted? Is that tilted? I oh, can't yeah. Tell. It's pretty bad tilted, so we need to probably just, yeah, redo these holes. Alrighty, we got it all marked out. So now we're gonna make the little pre-drill holes. Well, we're not making the holes yet, we're just marking them. And then we'll make the holes. Now I'm gonna make the holes. Well, we made a little mistake and this gap is actually too far. So what we're actually just gonna do is take these both off and just switch them. So then this part will be coming out right here and that'll make it so the grate should fit in between. All right, we flipped them around. So Nathan, would you like to have the honors of putting the last rack on? Yep. Okay. 
There we go. There we go. And it fits. Job's not done till everything is put away. Well, that's about all we got for you today. If you want to support us, check out our family Patreon in the link below. And we pray blessings over you and yours. And whatever, whatever you, you do, do, do it with your whole heart. heart.